Hi, Landria here from New York, here for a few days, having a great time, some business, some fun. I saw Wicked last night. I love New York. Love New Yorkers. It's a great city. It is. But it's, um, it's a little, uh, oops, yucky out there. So I'm inside my hotel room. I was going to, like, film outside. I don't know why, because it's so noisy, you wouldn't be able to hear me anyways. Um, that's my interior view so that I have a little peace and quiet. I don't like the street noise. All right, so I did a video on um, not knowing, not knowing how we're, we can put ourselves in all kinds of jeopardy, in all kinds of situations. We can get on planes, go through the worst stuff, because we know we're going to land. No matter what we go through, the clouds, no matter what, we know we're going to land. We know the pilots know what they're doing. We know we have the right equipment on the plane. And you have the same thing in your life. But let's talk about channels and mediums and psychics. All right? We always are curious, even if we don't believe, more people that don't believe will go ahead and go to a psychic, especially if they hear it's a good one, because they want to know. We always want to know what life holds for us, as if we don't have control over it. The funny thing is, is that truly, truly connected mediums and psychics will tell you that there's nothing that you can't change. So if they see something and they share it with you, they will tell you that you can change these things. You are in control. So that's the beauty of it, is that if you go to a psychic and they tell you something you don't like, you can change it. So let's let's talk about them because you know there are a lot of people out there that do this stuff and we know there are some very good ones out there. I went to a couple of outstanding ones. I mean off the charts outstanding. I went to one 20 years, over 20 years ago, 25 years ago and uh, everything, every single thing that she has told me has come to pass. Now, let me just share something. She told me, also, these things will not happen if you do not pursue them. So she told me that I would be a writer, which was sort of a joke at the time. I was like, come on, can't make a living as a writer. But she told me, just remember, these things I see are your choice. If you don't write those books, it will never come to pass. You need to write the book. She, she expressed that a couple times. In other words, there's a fork in the road. There's a fork in your road. And you don't necessarily have to take the path that they're seeing at that moment because that, that moment will change. You can see them and you know make another decision and they may tell you something completely different. So I want you to know something about psychics and mediums. It's like anything. They're interpreting what they see. And they get, it's not like somebody stands in the room and tells them something, you know, point blank. They have symbols and signs and messages all the time. And it's very important for them to have the ability to interpret those. So they may not always get it right. Everybody thinks it's a science. It's not, it's an art. And some people have more abilities than others. Um, and I want you to remember the other thing, too, is that, especially with channels, um, they're just vehicles. Just because somebody channels or has psychic abilities doesn't mean they're enlightened. They'll tell you that. I mean, you know, somebody could channel the most, you know, beautiful messages and go, you know, drink and smoke and do all kinds of crazy stuff. They're separate from the messages they, they get. For some reason, they're open to the other side. So be careful with these people because, again, you know, they're, they're just giving you messages according to how they're interpreting what they're seeing, if they're even good. Now, there's some awesome ones out there. Awesome, awesome. I have an astrologist that's really good, and I wasn't really into that. But I shared something with her. I said, you know, there's nothing you tell me that I, I can't change. I said, if, if, if it's somebody says, oh, it's, you know, you're going to struggle this year, you don't have to struggle. 
don't believe it. It's whatever you choose. It's whatever you decide. I think that there's certain energies that are happening, especially now, 2016, that are creating massive changes. There's a huge energy, sh energy shift. I've felt a few lately that were, whew, and it's going to challenge you because you may make peop some people irritated, angry. You know, you're going to see some very odd behavior going on. Um, these are your challenges. It doesn't mean you have to be a part of that. It means that this is your time to rise above it, to be calm. So again, the not knowing about, you know, what our future holds, you're creating it. You're creating it. Be, be careful with the channels and the mediums. Remember that they're just sharing glimpses of things that they see, possibilities. You are in control of that. So don't read your horoscope and say, oh, it's going to be a bad day, or oh, yeah, you know, that's true, and you can make it happen. And I think that's what happens a lot of times when people are told things and they say, oh, okay, and they're creating it because they're believing it, because you know how powerful belief systems are. So if you believe you're going to have a bad day because you read something, you can make that happen. So, um, yeah, I'm fine with channels and mediums. I, I think there's they give some great messages. This the the second biggest thing you need to be aware of, other than know that nothing they say is in stone, is that um, they if they're giving you anything less than positive messages, then run. <laughs> channels too. If you're hearing a channel give gloom and doom messages, boom, shut it off. Shut it off. That's not a good person. That, I don't know what they're getting, but it's not good. Uh, a good channel, a positive channel, will, even though they give you warnings, <coughs> excuse me, maybe about world events and stuff, there are always positive messages that come with it. They're always going to share something positive with it that there's some good things that will come with it. So if they're not giving really positive messages, and you know you know if they aren't, or aren't, there's so many gloom and doom predictions going on out there. Don't listen to those. Shut them off. You need to protect your energy and your mind from all of this gloom and doom stuff. I don't even watch the news. I can tell you the first thing about what's going on in the world. And people say, well, don't you need to know? And I ask them, name one thing I need to know. Seriously. I don't want to get my messages from the news because they, they spin things in a very negative way. And it's not true. Most of it's just sensationalism. You create your own reality. So psychic and, psychics and medium, they can be fun. They can, sometimes you need a little bit of inspiration. You need to hear something good. That's cool. But remember, you're in control and messages should always be positive so even warnings of something should be for the good of you um, go create your own ending be okay with not knowing write your own ending how about that why don't you just write your own ending visualize it like I've talked about in other videos and then you create it be your own psychic tell your own messages to yourself and then make it happen so anyways have fun don't put too much stock in those things again they are not telling you what is to be they're telling you some things that they see you create what is to be see here hear that that's why I have the inside room all right God bless you. Wishing you great abundance, and I'll be back. Hmm, what will we talk about next? Let me think about it. Take care.